The values of a function g are given at selected x values in the table below. The function is either concave up or concave down, but not both. Determine if the function is concave up or concave down. Well, something is concave up if the rate of change is increasing for concave up and decreasing for concave down. So what do I do? Well, let's find the rate of change. The way you find the rate of change is you go to your table. You make sure that the X values are going up by the same number, which they are. These are called equal length input value intervals. And then you see what's going on here. Okay, so to get from 18 to 20, we add 2. To get from 20 to 20, you add 0. To get from 20 to 18, you subtract 2. And to get from 18 to 14, you subtract 4. Now, whenever we do this, you are finding the rate of change. Because what you're doing is you're finding how G is changing over the course of one step. And you add 2, subtract nothing, subtract 2, subtract 4. The rate of change goes from 2 to 0 to negative 2 to negative 4. Those numbers are decreasing, which means this graph is concave down. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably draw your own picture of this and graph these plots and see that you're going to get something that looks like this. But that's no fun. This is the best way to do it because, you know, it's all pre calculus -y.